runners. It was a good race. It was definitely challenging. Walkers and folks in wheelchairs all with the same mission. It was awesome. I love the energy at the beginning. To get over that bridge. The hill, we knew it was going to be windy, and it was, but everyone seemed to maintain their pace. It was the 46th year for the 10K, and it's one of Charleston's most beloved events. Some ran it in less than 30 minutes. Like the male first place winner, Athenas Kyoko. There was so much rain, and that is where I made my move. And then I had uh, this guy just train me, and that was good for me because we kept pushing the pace. And right behind him, the woman's first place winner, Cynthia Lima. I did this race 2014, and I won. And since 2014, 15, I never came back. And this year, I've come back. Experienced runners say the win was a big factor in their time. And so I kind of knew running out there that it was not going to be a fast time, and it was a pretty slow time. But that's okay because I think my place was good, and I stayed pretty consistent. But no matter how long it took everyone, one thing was a guarantee that it brought the community together. <laughs> this is all about families and funds and our local folks they citizens enjoy this event and have a good time it's what charleston is all about in charleston sophia radebaugh count on two